Assalamu alaikum welcome to another informative video and today we will learn tablet coating process in this video we will learn what is tablet coating what is the principle of tablet coating what are the types of tablet coating what is the purpose of tablet coating what is the composition of tablet coating suspension and what is the procedure of tablet coating so let's start our video what is tablet coating tablet coating is a process where we apply a thin layer of polymers and other excipients over the tablet surface mean the process where we apply a thin layer of excipients and polymers over the tablet surface for the number of reasons what are the reasons why we apply the coat we will discuss in the purpose of tablet coating section so it is the definition of tablet coating the next one is that what is the principle of tablet coating it is very important to learn how tablet coating process works mean what is the basic mechanism or basic principle of the tablet coating the mechanism or principle of tablet coating is that we prepare a suspension of polymers and other ingredients in a suitable solvent then this solvent is atomized and spread over the rotated bed of tablets heat is applied and this heat evaporate the solvent and results in deposition of solid materials over the tablet surface this is the cyclic process and continue the process until the desired weight gain is achieved let's explain from the diagram here we prepare a suspension of polymer and other excipients it is transferred by the peristaltic pump and atomized by the compressed air and sprayed over the tablet surface by using the spray guns these tablets are in continuous motion heat is applied this heat evaporate the solvent and solid content continue to deposit over the surface of each tablet and the exhaust air go out from this outlet and in this way our weight gain of the tablet is achieved it is the basic principle of the tablet coating next one is the what are the types of tablet coating basically there are three main types of tablet coating one is the film coating second one is the sugar coating and third one is the enteric coating fourth type is also known as drug coating if you want to learn about drug coating the link of video is given in description so film coating is a very simple process where we apply 1 to 5% of the polymer over the tablet surface the enteric coating is a specialized type of coating where we coat our tablets to protect the active pharmaceutical ingredient from the destructive nature of the stomach mean those drugs which are not stable in the stomach and are degraded by the stomach acid are coat with the enteric coating process so these drugs are dissolved in the basic ph environment of the small intestine this process is known as enteric coating here we will discuss basic difference between film coating and enteric coating and what is the sugar coating i will try to record separate videos on the each type sugar coating is a simple coating process where we apply the sugar solution over the tablet surface mean in film coating we use different types of polymers but in sugar coating we apply the solution of sugar over the tablet surface so it was the types of tablet coating next one is the purpose of tablet coating mean why we coat the tablets for details learning a separate video link is given in description but here we will also learn why we coat tablets first of all we coat the tablet to mask the unpleasant taste of api many api have very bitter taste so to mask the bitter or 
sour taste of the api we coat our tablets the next reason is that many api or excipients give non uniform color to our tablets so to make the color uniform we coat our tablets the next one is that we coat the tablets to protect the tablet from environmental effects like to protect the tablet from temperature humidity or light the next one is that we coat the tablets to prevent the mix up mean if we have different strength of same api we coat different strength with different color coating suspension and make the differentiation between these strength and prevent the mix up the next reason is that we coat the tablet to alter the drug release in case of enteric coating or extended release coating we alter the release of api the next reason to coat the drug is to make the blistering process smooth we know that during blistering we use feeding system and if our tablet are coated the friction is reduced and blistering process is smooth and in the same way if we are going to pack our tablets in bottles the counting process and bottle filling process will be smooth the next reason to coat the tablet surface is to prevent the dust generation we know that coat tablets shred dust so by applying a coating the dust generation is prevented and it help to prevent the contamination or cross contamination the next one is that what is the composition of tablet coating suspension tablet coating suspension composition is very simple first of all we have a specific solvent the solvent may be aqueous or organic mean we can use water or we can use organic solvents like as isopropyl alcohol the next component of tablet coating suspension which is the main part of the suspension is the polymer we can use any type of the polymer like hpmc hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose the next one is the colorants we use suitable food grade colors for the coating suspensions the next ingredient is the plasticizers we add plasticizers in our coating formulations and these plasticizers rearrange the structure of polymer and help to increase its film forming capacity the next component of tablet coating suspension is the opacants we add opacants in our coating formulations like titanium dioxides and the next ingredient we add in our coating suspension may be anti foaming agent like smithicone so it was simple description of the tablet coating composition the next one is the procedure of tablet coating mean how we coat our tablets the process is very simple first of all we prepare the tablet coating suspension as we discussed by taking a suitable solvent we add all the ingredients into it and mix for a suitable time to make the uniform suspension then we load our tablets into the perforated coating pan after loading the tablet into the pan we rotate the pan and de-dust the tablets to remove the excessive dust exhaust is opened and dust is removed from this way to the outside then we apply a heat from the inlet duct to warm our tablets when our tablets are warmed and de-dusted we start to apply the coating suspension over the rotated tablets we use a peristaltic pump this pump delivers suspension from the container to the spray guns and we use compressed air to atomize the air mean the droplet size or particle size of the suspension is reduced and it is spread over the rotated bed of the tablets the heat continuously come from outside and it evaporate the solvent and solid content is deposited over the tablet surface exhaust air go outside from the outlet duct this process continues until we consume all our suspension and desired tablet coating weight gain is achieved 
वन थिंग इज डेट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द कोटिंग प्रोसेस वी चेक द वेट ऑफ को टेबलेट्स एंड देन अप्लाइंग ऑल द सस्पेंशन वी अगेन चेक द टेबलेट वेट टू मेयर डेट हाउ मच गेन ऑफ द वेट इज अचीव बाय दिस कोटिंग प्रोसेस सो इट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द टेबलेट कोटिंग प्रोसेस इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो शेयर इट टू अदर्स एंड subscribe my channel the link of article on tablet coating is also given in description you can read the article the link of whole coating playlist is also given in the description you can watch complete coating process step by step and if you want to learn more about the farmer processes the link of my website farmerinform.com is also given in description do visit my website farmerinform.com and till the next video allah hafiz